The older I've become, the more I have focused on the grace of God. When I was younger, I focused lots on the rules and the things we were teaching and the things we've been taught to do and what the Word says about how to live and lots of those things. And, and that was good, but I kind of ignored the fact, or at least took for granted, the fact of God's grace and his graciousness towards us. As I've got older, I have uh, appreciated that a lot more and have talked about it a lot more. I, I realize that my own goodness, even at its best, falls way short and that I would have no hope without the grace of God. I appreciate God's grace more now than I ever have. However, there is a belief out there that takes that a little too far. There's a belief out there that says because God is gracious, there is nothing for us to do. God's grace covers everything and there is nothing for us to do. Well, that's simply untrue. In the word of God, there are lots of lists that say things like, uh, get rid of this and do that, put to death these things in your life and start doing these things. There, there is a response that we should have when we understand what has been done for us. And so this week, we're going to look at one of those lists, one of those lists that we uh, sometimes kind of ignore when we talk about scripture like this. Um, it comes from the second letter of Peter. In Peter's second letter, he writes and says, and reminds them of the beauty of God's grace, what he's done for them, their salvation, all these beautiful things. And then he says, because of that, here are some qualities you need to incorporate in your life. Here are some qualities you need to focus on and grow in. Here is your response. We cannot save ourselves. That is God's part. But he will not do our part for us, which is to grow in the qualities he wants us to grow in. That is up to us. This week, we're going to look at those qualities, why they're important, and what they can do for us. The sermon is called Simple but Significant, Eight Ways to Strengthen Your Spiritual Walk. Then, in our Bible study at 10 o'clock, we are still in, we are in 2 Kings chapter 6. 2 Kings 6 is an interesting chapter because... Every once in a while in the Bible, God allows us to see behind the curtain. He allows us to see behind the scenes and allows us to see things we don't always get to see. 2 Kings 6 is one of those chapters. Elisha and his servant get to see something of the spirit world that is still true today, but something we may not understand or think much about or value as much as we ought to. So this week, we're going to peek behind the curtain. We're going to see what is real, even if it's unseen most of the time. And we're going to talk about why we need to think more about the things we don't see. The, the Bible study is entitled, Seeing the Unseen. I'm going to encourage you to read 2 Kings chapter 6 ahead of time so that uh, you can come with your observations to share and comments to make as well. That'll make the class even better. As always, we are continuing to have lunch on Sunday after service. So as we always say, please bring enough for your own family and then enough for another family so that we can invite our guests to stay around. That time of fellowship is really good and it's really nice. And so we want to encourage you to plan to be part of that because that's a big part of Sunday morning too, is getting together and being together. Right now, this place is empty, uh, but come Sunday morning, I hope it'll be full. I hope you're one of them who is here. Let's get together and worship our God.